Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are diving into a graphic novel that reimagines a classic tale with a dark psychological twist. I am talking about Alice Never After by Dan Panocean, Giorgio Spalletta and Francesco Segala. This was released 23rd of July 2023. So grab your tea or should I say your Mad Hatter's Brew because things are about to get very wonderland. Let's jump in. So we all know Alice's original adventure through Wonderland, right? The whimsical characters, the chaotic tea parties and the Queen of Hearts yelling the iconic phrase, off with their heads. But Dan Panocean's take on Wonderland is this done in such a way that you've probably never imagined. Alice Never After picks up with Alice as an adult and as I'm sure you can imagine, things are not exactly magical anymore. Oh no, we find Alice struggling with the reality after her return from Wonderland. Is she delusional? Was Wonderland ever real? This story deals perfectly with her inner turmoil, mental health, and a twisted revisitation of her childhood fantasy. Now, trust me when I say this is not, I repeat, this is not your Disney Alice. If you're here for that, make way. Not gonna happen. So, thematically, Alice Never After dives deep into trauma identity and the blurred lines between fantasy, reality, what is real and what is not. Alice is haunted by her experiences in Wonderland, but it's not the whimsical escape she remembers. There's something much darker lurking beneath the surface. What is it? We shall find out. Now, Wonderland is reimagined as much more of a sinister place, with Dan's writing reflecting perfectly what, what that is and with more mature psychological tones. It's not just a retelling though, it is a story about the loss of innocence. Alice's battle with her mental health is front and centre even more than the first arc and it really makes you question, was Wonderland a place of refuge for a traumatised child or was it the very thing that actually drove her to madness? There's honestly so much you can unpack in this book, it's fantastic. Now what I do want to talk about is the art, it's amazing. Dan Panocean and Giorgio Spalletta have totally they totally switch roles on the uh, the artistic roles this time around. You've got Dan doing London and you have Giorgio doing Wonderland. But as always, they have absolutely smashed it and they've nailed the visual tone of this book. The artwork is gritty yet beautiful with a heavy emphasis on shadows and contrasts. Wonderland, when you see it, is, is so surreal and dreamlike, but then it also finds... Uh, it's also filled with like ominous undertones and you'll find the twisted, distorted versions of the classic characters like the Cheshire Cat and the Mad Hatter. There's an eerie vibe that totally just seeps through the pages and it had me turning back and forth numerous times going over and over each page. The colour palette shifts between the real world, which is cold and bleak, and Wonderland, which is a vibrant yet haunting. It really, really did make me feel like I was slipping between two worlds and both were equally unsettling. Now, character-wise, this book gives us some really, really interesting takes on the Wonderland crew. Alice, up first, of course, is the most complex as she grapples with her sense of self. She's not just this curious little girl anymore. Nope, she's a broken woman trying to make sense of the chaos that is in her mind. The Mad Hatter is even more madder than you'd actually think or expect, and characters like the Cheshire Cat take on a more menacing and evil role. Everyone seems a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more unpredictable, and it's like seeing Wonderland through a funhouse mirror, and you're never quite sure if it's real. So, there we go. Who is Alice Never After for? If you love dark psychological stories or if you've ever been curious about what actually happened when the fairy tale ended, this is a must read for you. I cannot stress this enough. It's perfect for fans of twisted reimaginations, reimaginings of Gothic, Gothic, Gothic literatures and anyone who loves the blend of fantasy with a tiny little bit of psychological depth. But a word of caution though, this isn't a light-hearted romp through Wonderland. It's intense and at times it's very, very disturbing. And definitely not for kids. But if you're looking for a graphic novel that makes you think and leaves you haunted long after you've turned the last page, then you will definitely want to pick this one up. Guys, that's it for today. Another five minute review done and dusted. If you've read Alice Never After, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Did you love the dark take on Wonderland or was it a little bit twisted for your taste? Please, please do not forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a review, whether it's on a comic book, a trade paperback or a toy. But until next time, please stay curious.
but maybe not that too curious. See you later. <laughs>